Uh, right, so good place to start the intro, and that's going to sound something like this. Okay, so something like that, and uh, all we're doing there then, if you look at the tab, uh, we're going to put our in, uh, we're going to put our middle finger on fret number five, string number two. We're going to pick that once, and then slide up to fret number seven. Okay, then we're going to take our finger off and just pick uh, string number two open four times. Yeah, so like this. Yeah. Something like that, yeah? And uh, like I say, if you look at the tab, we're going to do that three times, yeah? So like this. Yeah, then what we're going to do is put our index finger on uh, fret number four, string number two. We're going to pick that, and then take your finger off and pick it again. So uh, that's string number two open. And then we're going to keep doing that, so it's going to be, uh, in total, it's going to be on, off, on, off, on. So, like this. Okay. So, like, that's the end of the little intro there, then. You know, put that together. And um, and that's going to make up, like, the full uh, first part of the intro. And then, after that, it's going to go into the first verse, then. So, uh, let's have a look at that now, then. Right, so, uh, the verse, then, it's going to sound uh, something like this. Okay. And I think that's repeated four times. And uh, all we're doing is some simple power chords. So it's index finger, fret two, string number five, ring finger, fret number uh, four, string four, little finger, fret four, string three. And if you look at the tab, you can see we're going to strum that six times, yeah? And then um, if you look at the tab again, it, it's kind of broke up, yeah? So it's like one, then one, and then we're going to play it three times quite quick. Then it's a little, tiny little break, and then once more, yeah? So like this. Okay, do 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 do. All right, and um, what I tend to do in this part is just uh, down strokes. If you want to, you can go up and down. Okay, it's up to you. And um, what we're going to do is play that shape like with the same pattern twice. Yes, yeah? so I like this. Okay, once you've played that, slide it all the way up so your fingers. Are on the ninth and the eleventh frets. Play that same shape again. Okay. Slide it down two frets. So now your index fingers on fret uh, seven, and your other two fingers on fret number nine. Same shape. Okay. Play that all together. And like I say, uh, we're going to play that entire piece four times for the verse. And then after that we're going to look at the chorus, so here we go then for the chorus. Right, so the chorus then, it's going to be the exact same strumming pattern, yeah? All we're going to do is put some different chords to it, okay? And it's going to sound something like this. Okay, so um, what I'm doing there then, starting off with power chord in this shape, index finger, fret number four, string six, and then your ring finger, fret number six, string number five, and your little finger, fret number uh, six, string number four. Like I say, same shape, do 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 do. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is play that three more times. Okay, and then move it down a string and across two frets, yeah? So now I've got our index finger, and our fret number two, string number five, ring finger on fret number two, string four, and his little finger, fret number two, string number three. We're going to play that just twice. Okay, so in total. Okay, and then from there then, we're going to go up a string. So now you've got your index finger on fret two, string four. So now you've got your index finger on fret two, string six, ring finger, fret number four, string five, Little finger, fret number four, string number four. And uh, we're going to do that six times. Okay, so three more times, then bring it down a string and twice more. Okay, so uh, once you've played that, then 
it's going to be a different shape again we're going to take our index finger and what we're going to do is lay that so we're holding down strings 4 and 5 at fret number 2 and then we want to play string number 6 open yeah so make sure you're not touching that string we're going to play the top 3 strings in that same pattern where we're doing it 6 times yeah and in total we're going to play this 4 times so like this <laughs> Okay, once you've done that, we're going to go back to the start of the chorus. Now we'll play it through again then. Okay, so that's like the first chorus for us then. Now we can have a look at, uh, it's the second chorus. Alright, so the second chorus then, I think it's uh, pretty much using the same shapes we've just played. The only difference is uh, the picking is going to be different and like we're going to be doing quite a lot of palm muting, okay? So, uh, the second part should sound something like this. Oh, something like that, yeah, where we're doing a lot of palm muting. So, uh, to start off with then, we've got to put our fingers back into this position then. So, it's uh, index finger, fret number four, string six, ring finger, and your little fingers on a... Uh, Fret number six, strings four and five. We're going to pick this once, okay? And then what we're going to do is put the side of your hand, this part, on uh, the strings here, press down quite hard, and then um, that's going to palm mute it for us. So you get that sound, and then leaving your hand where it is like that. I'm going to pick down and up, alternate picking ten times, okay? Then uh, from there, then. All we're going to do is move your hand down a string and across two frets. So now it's your index finger on uh, fret number two, string number five, ring finger, little finger, both on frets number four on strings three and four. We're going to pick that uh, down twice. Okay. And then what we're going to do is go up a string like that, pick those, then palm mute it ten times again. Okay. Then down a string again, play those twice. So that's that part then. Uh, this next part is going to be even different, uh, it's going to be different once again. It's your index finger, so we're covering uh, fret number two on strings four and five. I'm going to pick the top three strings, yep, and then palm muting that top open string, something like uh, 14 times I think it is. So uh, in total it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, do that twice. Okay. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go back to the first part and play that once more, okay? And it's going to sound like this. Okay, so we're going to do all that. And then to finish off, uh, all we're going to do is put your hands back in this position where we're at fret 2 then we're going to do that same um, strumming pattern where we're doing it six times just down strokes yeah so to finish off this all right so uh, that's the end of the chorus then and that actually brings us to the end of the song because um, I know like, there's not actually many different pieces to this song you know there's like the intro you know, whatever. Uh, then we've got like one of the verses, which is uh, every time there's a verse, it's always the exact same. We've got the first chorus, then I think it's like it does the intro again, then I think it does um, another verse. Then we've got the second chorus where we're doing the. Okay, and, um, and like I said, if you look beneath the video, I've got the full tab for you, I've got like the uh, structure for the entire song. So that's a song, uh, Pathetic by Blink182. And uh, thank you, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you next time.